Today we're going to look at two-digit numbers, that's numbers with two numerals in them, or numbers 10 through 99, and we're going to look at the place value within these numbers and how we can represent those with base 10 blocks. So right here I have the number 26. I can break this number 26 into two place values, the ones place here with the 6 and the tens place with the 2. So the ones place represents the ones or the leftovers when we're making a number. And then the tens represents the groups of 10 that we have. So this one represents six, but the two actually represents two groups of 10 or 20. We can use base 10 blocks to represent the number 26. First, I'm gonna start with the tens place, which there's two. So I can use the 10 stick to make 10, then 20. I'm gonna stop there because if I put another one out, I would have 30 and that's too much. So I can use these tens sticks to count by tens, 10, 20, and then I would need to use my ones to make the 26. So I'd count by ones on 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So now I have 26 represented with two 10 sticks and six ones. Sometimes I don't always have 10 base 10 blocks with me or um, the app that uses them either. And so if I want to draw them, um, I can use just what we call sticks and dots. So using my pencil, in order to do the tens, I'm going to just draw lines to represent the 10 sticks because it's going to take me a while if I draw out this big 3D stick and make sure there's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That just takes me a long time. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to draw a stick, just a line, like a tally mark almost. So this would be 10, 20, and then I would draw six dots. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Now I have 26. So I can represent that by the base 10 blocks here, or I can draw a picture using 10 sticks and dots. Let's try another one. <clears throat> Next I have the number 83. Again, I'm going to think about our place value so I have the tens over here and the ones over here. I always like to start with the tens just because it helps me when I can count on. So let's try doing it with our blocks first. So I'll clear my board here. And we'll think about if the number was 83 Think about how many 10 sticks I would need. So I'm going to use the 10 sticks and I'm going to count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 10s, which is represented in the 10s place with the 8. And then I still need the ones, which would be three of them. So I'd count on. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. So now I have 83 all together. If I want to draw that with tens and ones, again, I can start with my tens. I see there's an eight in the tens place, so I can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80. I have my ones place. There's a three there. So I have 81, 82, 83. So multiple ways to represent the number 83. I have the numerals. I have drawing a picture of tens and ones. And I have my tens and ones sticks. This last one we can try together. I want you to pause the video and try representing it on your iPad or with that the 
base 10 block app or getting out the actual base 10 blocks and representing the number 62 with base 10 blocks and drawing a picture either on a whiteboard or on a piece of paper. So pause now and do that and when you're done you can press play and we can check together. <coughs> All right, now that you've tried it on your own, let's take a look of how we would do it here. So if I had the number 62, to clear my board, I think about what number is in the tens place and what number is in the ones place. So the number was 62. So I'll start with 6 tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I stop there because if I did another 10 I'd have 70 and that's too much. Then I count on by 1, 61, 62. If I'm representing that with sticks and dots, I start with my tens place again, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so that's six tenths, and then I have my ones, 61, 62. Hopefully that's catching on and it's pretty easy for you. Today what your job is going to be is get some practice with your drawing and writing out, um, representing different two-digit numbers. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll the dice. You're going to have two dice, or you can roll one dice twice. Um, let's say you rolled a three and a two. That would make my tens place and my ones place. So I have the number 32. Then I'm going to draw it in six and dots. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. That part's easy. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put it in expanded form. So you're going to write the number of tens you have. Well, I see in 32 I have three ten sticks. So I would write a three here. And I have two ones. So I'm going to write my two right here. When I'm writing out the equation, I have to think about three tens isn't just three. When I count my ten six, I say 10, 20, 30. So I'd put 30 plus two, because two ones is just two, and I know that 30 plus two is 32. Let's try one more together. Let's say this time I rolled the dice and I rolled a four and a five. So the first number would be my tens place. The second number would be my ones place. So I have the number 45. I'm gonna represent that in tens and ones by drawing it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So I have it in tens and ones, drawing it, and then I'm going to write it in expanded form. I have four ten sticks, so I would write four tens, and I have five ones. When I'm writing my equation, I have to think about, I don't have four plus five, that would be nine, and that's not 45. I have four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. So my equation would be 40 plus five, equals 45. You'll continue taking your turn until the recording sheet is full. You can choose to do it on class kick or you can do it on paper. That's your choice for today. So our goal is to be able to represent two-digit numbers in three different ways.